All right, what is up guys? Right now on this video, we're going to be going over what happened last election, presidential election in 2016. What happened for gold? What did gold do in 2016 election? Okay, so first thing that I want to point out is that there's going to be a lot of volatility tomorrow. We don't know what's going to happen, but we do know certain areas that may get played off, some certain things to expect. So I'm going to show you guys um, what happened in 2016 so then we can be more prepared for tomorrow. And if you're watching this past that day, then, well, of course, you know, you've already seen what happened. But anyway, so as you can see, we I have identified in purple the weekly order blocks in 2016 that were played off of, right? And okay, so pretty much this black line represents this is the weekly order block. And okay, it's, it's pretty much playing off this area, so on and so forth. Boom, okay. All right, so it played off the weekly order block. Cool, cool, cool. That's what's good. That's what's up. Now, what do we see here, guys? What do we see? Let's see. All right, we have equal highs right up, right below the weekly order block for the sell. So I'm just kind of like, I'm just kind of like going back for this and I just kind of did this myself and I just wanted to see like, okay, how could we have potentially played this? How could we have potentially played this? Um, it looks like, um, okay. So, the blue line, the blue line just marks like New York session, I think. And then the second blue line marks the end of the day. And that was the election day. Okay. So pretty much like, let's just say if I were trading this, what I would be doing is it's already rejected this one. So I would just, I would almost expect it to come up here. Like, you know, you would think, cause this is a weekly order block. It's fat. It's right there. You know, it's something that could potentially happen. You, and you, you almost would have been prepared to, to expect that to happen. Okay. The weekly order block. So let's watch this on the hour, the hour chart. Now let's say, for example, that you actually were looking for a buy. Where would you look for a buy? If I were looking for a buy, it would be down here. It would be at this green candle, okay? So if it were me, I would say, okay, I'm taking, I'm either going to take buys down here or I'm going to take buys somewhere in this huge candle it's a it's a fat candle it's weekly it's weekly so probably more realistically in between the open and the 50 percent okay probably between the open and the 50 percent so let's see what happens it looks like um right at new york session open makes a pretty nice move up or matter of fact it's spiked back down <laughs> It was a wick. It was a wick. Don't get faked out by the wicks. All right. And then that's when it happens. It shoots up. What time did it shoot up? That's something we could pay attention to. Okay. What happened last time? What could happen this time? Okay. It looks like what happened last time was that at about 4 p.m. Mountain. No, nope, it was about five. It was about 6 p.m. Mountain, which is probably when the, the coverage started. It started shooting up and it kept going up hard. Now it's important here, guys, do not chase. If we get into a situation tomorrow, do not try to chase this. I mean, shit, do whatever you want. But like, that's not how I'm gonna be trading it. <laughs> right there, boom. That's where it gives us our entry opportunity. That's where it gives us the entry opportunity. It gave us actually right in this weekly order block, right in the middle of this weekly order block. It was about 50% in, a little bit higher than 50% of the order block. It gave us a one hour, one hour tweezer top with shooting star engulfing candle right in the weekly order block. That's something that I was like, okay, you know, we may have entered off that. And I don't know what the smaller time frame looked like, but um, yeah, I don't know. But like, let's just say that could have been a potential trade we took. And it looks like it hit the high and turned around. It turned around at 10 p.m. So it took off at 6 p.m. and it turned around at 10 p.m. That's something to note, something to be aware of. Okay. So 
So it looks like we would have smashed our TP there. So it's just an interesting idea, like just an interesting thing to look at. All right. So one last time, I'm going to erase that. Okay. One last time, I'm going to go over this again. Leading up to the election, I'm going to mark the day of the election. I'm going to mark the day of the election. Okay. November 8th, last in 2016. November 8th. Okay. And then we have pretty much some key areas that were rejected, which was this weekly order block here. And why I said order block, it is the down candle before the swing move up. And then we have mark that down there. Okay. And then we have this candle here. Okay. This candle here. Now I do want to mark, do draw the fib here just to see how deep it actually got in that candle. So on the daily. Um, like I said on the daily, um, you know, I don't see nothing on the daily, but anyway. Okay. Important to note is that, oh shoot, let me, let me, let me make this go faster. What's important to note is this. Yep, right there. It, it immediately created equal highs right, literally right below the open of that candle, the open of the weekly candle. Okay. So with that being said, immediately I'm like, okay. Matter of fact, let me fix that. There's equal lows right there, equal highs right there, equal highs. Okay. Equal highs right there. It means there's money right above for sure. Okay. One last time. New York set up the move that happened in the afternoon. All right. Now, with that being said, at 2 p.m., it hit the bottom at um, 6 p.m. This is Mountain Standard Time. Mountain Standard Time. 6 p.m., it shot up about um, 12, 60, 13. About, it, it went about 700 pips up. It went up about 700 pips in... One, two, three, four, five hours. 700 pips in five hours. 700 pips in five hours is what it did. Okay. Now, what did it do leading up to that? It made a swing. It actually made a swing of about 200 pips in New York session, which um, is a little bit more volatile than normal. Okay. And then it made that move up and it hit about the... Looks like it hit the 79 of this 79 fib of this candle, which went past the 50% and it wicked and gave us this candle confirmation. So I would be looking for a candle confirmation in a daily or weekly order block. I'm gonna look at a couple pairs, what we could see. This should could be a good opportunity for us to make money. You know, to trade safely, but you know, order blocks are order blocks, liquidity is liquidity. Anything can always happen, but so you enter there, enter there, boom, like that. You could have done that, and you know that would have been 140 pip stop loss. No, nothing too crazy, you know. Just know what your lot, your lot size are, know what your lot size are, and then you know take profit where down here. Take profit underneath the low, or just you know you can take profit wherever. I mean that's a big move. That's 700 pips, and it took how long to play out? It looks like it dropped one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it looked like it was about by the end of the next day. By the end of the next day, it was a, yeah. Matter of fact, it was two days later. Okay, it was two days later it hit. It hit the TP. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, it's something that you could think about. I mean, it's a weekly order block. You know, you could definitely swing trade a weekly order block. So, anyway, let's get into it. Let's get into right now what's happening. Right now on gold, we have a couple of things. Right now, um, the election is tomorrow. The election is tomorrow, and I see a couple of things. I see this. I see this weekly order block right here. Okay, weekly order block right here, which is pretty far away. Last um, last election, it was a 700 pip move up into the swing lower high, um, or swing high, and then it dropped right. So from here, where price is currently at, we are about 1400 pips away which is not out of range, not out of range at all, because 
with the current volatility of gold, it's much, much uh, more volatile than it was back in 2016. Okay. So with that being said, that area is not out of range. Also, I like this daily order block as well. We will see what happens in here. I will definitely not be putting any limits. It'll be waiting for candle confirmation only. Um, and then we have this guy up here. So I would almost anticipate that this daily order block up here and then the weekly order block down here, they're both about 1400 pips away. 1400 pips away, both of them are. Okay, that daily order block in between is possible as well. But look, 1400 pips away is here. 1400 pips away is here. This one right here is only about 800 pips away. So let's say it sells down to here, right? That's 800 pips away. 800 pips away, right? Okay. So pretty much what we're saying, matter of fact, let me fix this so it's even. So pretty much it's probably gonna to go to one of those areas tomorrow for election. It's very possible I would be looking for that. I would be anticipating that. 100%. Possibility, some other possibilities. I mean, we could see a lot happen. Um, we could see it spike up here first. I mean, I mean, there's so many things that could happen, but I mean, I'm personally going to be trading off the daily and weekly order box. Uh, let's see what price does. You know, volatility is going to be in the evening. So more than likely volatility, if it was last time, it was between 6 p.m. and it was pretty much between 6 p.m starting at 6 p.m. until London session. That's when the volatility was, and the turnaround point was at 10 p.m. The volatility kick was at 6 p.m. So it was a four-hour period where it was shot in one direction and then it reversed around. It does not mean that's exactly what's going to happen this time, but it's just, you know, an example of what could possibly happen. Okay. Now let's see. What about 2012? 2012, if I'm not mistaken, it didn't do that much. It didn't do that much. I believe, right? We'll have to see. I want to see, check this out. In 2012, November. Um, not sure the exact day on that. Not quite sure. Um, looks like it's November. It was somewhere in there. It's probably that. I don't know. Anyway. Anyway, so it looks like we're gonna go, we're gonna be heading into one of these areas. So I would set alerts, you know, I would, you know, just in case it gets up there, I would definitely expect it to turn around in one of these areas. So you could definitely be catching a nice swing trade for, you know, a thousand or so pips. If you just be patient and wait for it to get to these areas, that's what I'm looking to do. So hopefully you guys, you get something from this. Hopefully you can make a bag from this. Um, and yeah, 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 um, peace out.